Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch. If you've been watching the channel lately, you've probably noticed a whole lot of talk about Armory 3D Game Engine. Well, there's two reasons behind that. First off, I'm pretty excited by this engine. And second off, it is being made available for free. In fact, just a few weeks ago or days ago, somewhere in that neighborhood, I released this video basically saying that Armory 3D was fully funded. And as soon as it hit its $1,600 a month funding goal, it was going to be made available for everyone for free. Now, it's always been available for free open source, but you had to build everything from scratch and it wasn't an easy process. In fact, I actually went one step further and did a full hands-on on what Armory 3D is like to work with. I will, of course, link this down below. So once you've got your hands on Armory, this will show you what it is capable of. Well, good news, folks. It is finally actually available. I don't know what the delay was, but it is actually out there now for you to use. If you head on over to Armory 3D, you know, let's do this from here, go to Armory 3D, head on over to the download downloads link right there and you will see it is now available and it now says $50 USD instead of I believe it was 50 before I'm not 100% sure but now if you want to grab it just go ahead and click download now if you don't want to give a donation say go ahead no thanks go to downloads and it will bring you to this screen. Now, the thing to be aware of, there are um, basically three versions here that are probably of some interest to you. There's Armory 04, and then it depends on your platform. So you can see it's available for uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Um, but there's two different versions here. There's Lite and there's B28. Now, the B28 version here... Um, Actually, this is a little bit challenging. The light version doesn't have everything in it. Um, so you don't necessarily get a code editor. Um, and yeah, I think that's about the only thing that's really missing from the light version. And in this particular case, this version, B28, means it's a build for Blender 2.8. That's the version that is very actively under development. It's actually the version I showcased in my introduction video. Uh, so if you're willing to work on the cutting edge, that's the version you want right there. That will include the full editing environment, uh, a copy of Blender 2.8 for you to get up and going with. Now, do keep in mind, Blender 2.8 crashes and crashes a lot. This is to be expected. It is pre 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 beta software. But it is the future and it is what Armory is ultimately targeting for their full release. So that's the, what those versions are. Now this version is for um, Armory 4, but for Blender 2.7. Now keep in mind there is no code editor. If you want the code editor, what you're going to probably want to do is grab the Armory uh, 03 version right here. Download that one. Now see if I have a copy installed already. I'll show you how you can do the upgrade. Okay, excellent. I have both versions installed. So this is the 2.8 version. We'll ignore that for now. So if you want to go on the cutting edge, grab it. But otherwise, grab the version 3. And then what you'll get there is it will include all of the um, the tools you need, specifically the code editor, code studio will be included for that 3 uh this install right down here instead of the light version. So grab that one and then fire it up. So we'll head on back into the source directory. Fire the blender up. All right, we'll let this load up. And then what you can do once Blender's loaded, go to File, User Preferences right here. Go to Add-ons. Go here to your search phase. Go Armory. And this is what you want right here. Just expand that guy out and show advanced. If you show advanced, you will see you have down here an option for update the SDK. If you pick that guy, it will then bring down all of the software needed to bring it up to the Armory 4 standard, but you will also get the code editing studio. And that is important because, well, not really necessarily hugely important, but if you want to be able to come in here with an open project and actually click, uh, let's see, new script, Ah, if when you come down here, or actually, I think if you go over here, also you'll see it under the Armory Code Studio. If you don't have that installed, uh, that guy, that button won't work. So that's why I'm upgrading from the 3.0 version to the full version instead of using the light version. Now, hopefully, in time, we'll get a whole Armory for uh, for each platform that isn't the light version uh, that includes Code Studio. Now, coincidentally, the Blender 2.8 version 
does include the Code Studio. So I know it's a little bit confusing. You basically have your choice of those three versions. If you have any questions about what I just said, please do, of course, let me know in the comments down below. If you get tripped up on the install process, I guess I can do a step-by-step -step video if needed. Again, let me know if you need that information in the comments down below. And once you've got Armory installed, do you want to be able to you know, have an idea of how this works? Do you want to check it out in a bit more detail? Do be sure to check out my introduction video, which again, I will link down below. So great days. So if you guys have been waiting to get your hands on Armory 3D and not having to build it from source, you can now go and download it again, link down below. Uh, so check out Armory. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, is it a pretty cool looking engine or do you still not give a damn? I'm interested in hearing what you have to say in the comments down below. All right. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.